Hola amigos, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma, I write contemporary romance, but today I'm having a little bit of a day out with my husband and where else would a writer go than Heon Wai, the world's first book town. I'll take you with me as we go around, we check out some different bookshops and I know a little bit about the history of the place so I'll see if I can fill you in about that as well. We are completely exhausted because we had to get up a lot earlier than usual this morning so we've just refueled, we've got some delicious coffee here. We went to this place called Dugan's or Duggan's Patisserie and they have the most amazing cakes. So I had, I think it was a salted caramel and pear like little tart thing and my husband had an orange and almond cake and they were so good. So we're all fueled on caffeine and sugar and we're gonna go and do some shopping. Catch you in a little bit. Would you just look at this awesome hat that I got and this it is so soft and I'm so much warmer now. We popped into a charity shop to look at books like I always do and I spotted these and I just had to get them and I am so warm and cosy now, completely happy. So we've come up to Hay Castle. It's been restored just a couple of years ago and I haven't actually been inside yet so we're gonna have a look around there. But in the grounds they have this amazing honesty bookshop where all the books are just a pound and there's like a pot that you put the money in. So yeah, I'm going to go and have a look around the castle now and hopefully I can take you with me and film a little bit. We've come down into the castle cellar where you can watch a little video about the history of Hay Castle, which was originally built more than 900 years ago by the Normans, but apparently the Elizabethans um, did some work to it. And yeah, it's got a long, complicated history. So I love this kind of thing. I'm just gonna settle down and watch this video and learn all the history. On April Fool's Day 1977, bookseller Richard Booth declared Heung Wai to be an independent kingdom with himself as king. His subjects created his regalia. The crown is decorated with glass jewels from a dog collar. The scepter was fashioned from brass plumbing pipes and the orb from a toilet ball cock. So the castle was really, really awesome, learnt an awful lot. It's only been open for about seven months now and they have done such a brilliant job. It's market day here as well today, so there's all kinds of stalls and stuff. I don't know if you can see in the background to look at, but we are going to get to some bookshops now, which I'm really looking forward to. Heyong Wai is world renowned for books and bookshops. It's a really sweet little town nestled on the border between England and Wales and it's most famous for its literary festival which takes place at the end of May every year. This festival is in a massive field just outside of the town itself. It's so close that you can just go and walk into hay and do some shopping or there are shuttle buses put on but all of the events take place in big marquees and there's just an absolutely lovely feel to the festival if you ever get the opportunity to go make sure that you do okay this is what i have been waiting for all morning we are about to go into Bartram's, the stationers. It is the sweetest little stationers ever, so traditional. And I got my beautiful fountain pen from there a few years ago. I just love to go in and look at all the gorgeous notebooks and pens and things. It's my favourite and yeah, it's just an absolutely gorgeous shop. So now we're in the cinema bookshop, which used to be a cinema, but it's been a bookshop, well, for as long as I've been coming here now, which must be about 19 years, maybe. Um, but this is like the secondhand children's section with all the really lovely old editions. So I'm very, very happy 
in here indeed and they'll even do things like if you buy a load of books I just saw a sign to say that they'll post them to you which I think is such a lovely idea I'm going to be very happy in here for a while yet We're finishing off our visit with going to my absolutely favourite bookshop in Hay. It's Booth Books, which was the bookshop that was actually started by Richard Booth, the King of Hay. And it's so good that it even has a crafting section for me. Like, are you kidding me? Has there ever been a better bookshop than this? This place is on three floors. It has a graphic novel section, a kids section. It has like cards and gift wrap. Um, oh, and it has a cinema and it has a coffee shop as well. It's completely amazing. I can't even with how beautiful these additions are. I've got a few of these hardback ones, um, but definitely not all of them. They're so gorgeous. I'm debating this. Tales from a Thousand and One Nights. It's so gorgeous, but they've also got Wuthering Heights, which I have. But this edition is so much more beautiful. What do I do? 